apparently there was there's been two ladies. There's two ladies that do the the fucking um, the the Jardians commercials. Oh, oh, I thought there's we were a, going somewhere else. No, no, no. I, the uh, I, I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, some yeah. Uh, H my A one C A one C. There's so there's two of them. I, I've heard I've heard a little bit about this. What happened to the first? Do you know what happened to the first one? This is not a bit. What happened to the first Jardian song? Oh, no, I don't know all this. Uh, I know I don't. Oh, okay. I'm asking. Are you asking me? Yeah. Just... I don't know. I just uh, I, I just learned there was two Jardian ladies. Uh, no, they actually talked about this on a local radio show recently, oh. uh, within the last few months. Uh, somebody also won a cameo with the former uh Oh, that's Former right. Mrs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. But what, what? How did she get cut? Was she too Jardiancy? Yeah. Was she a little? Was she too extra Jardiancy? She was a little extra something. Large. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, it's terrible. They used to call. They called her buffet. Come on, Phoebe buffet. Um. <laughs> I, I do gotta I, I gotta tell you something crazy that happened to me this week it's been a fucking nuts week that's pretty random this, this is not a bit this is um uh so the, at the station they're throwing away a bunch of uh stuff Ooh. Steve's you may have heard Steve talk about uh, he Steve picked up some like camera cases and a bunch of gels for lights and stuff like that and so they they're, they're tossing shit out left and right this is where I'm hoping to get a couple of new chairs take for the show here this is a temporary somebody mentioned this chair last week it, it's a temporary it's a chair. chair it's a temp chair uh, we got a couple of things working down upon anyway they're throwing away things left and right and over I went out by the dumpster like I do sometimes camera's flickering Stop moving around. I'm not moving. I haven't moved. Um, but I went out. I went out by the dumpster like I do sometimes, and I I, I found something they must have been throwing away, mm. and I think it's going to be worth a lot of money. Let's hope so. I'm pretty excited about it. So I found. I'm not. Are you much of an autograph guy? We we're talking about autographs used earlier. You used to be. You used to be an autograph guy. So. And I don't know that this is official. I need to get it checked out. Well, you get it. What do you call it? A PSA? You get, PSA it, get it graded? A JSA. What does PSA stand for? Not public service announcement. That's a different. That's something different. Something sports authenticators. Well, it's not sports though. It's what I found. Look at that. They'll still do it. That's, I don't know. I saw that earlier. You can get it. You can frame it. You I don't smear that. And again, I don't know if this is official or not, folks. But i'm a big uh fan of nostalgia as you you know we watched some retro commercials earlier on the program tonight and i may have gotten an autographed um morris yeah the one and it only. looks like an official morris autograph uh from the from the from the nine lives you guys remember morris from the nine lives commercial mm -hmm. i think this is a um this is an official morris autograph it was over by the dumpster mm. somebody as an what i can only guess would be an oversight you don't see him much anymore Mor Morris. that's touchy but um that's got to be how many lives do you think he lived i mean is that a birthmark on is that a is that a birthmark on morris I, do cats get birthmarks like deep down if you go right, you underneath the hair were you motioning for me to mute the mic <laughs> so so he can talk cat birthmarks Stop. <sighs> what's up, Dan? Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Grown Man Record Night. Boy, this started off great. Um, we've been having a lot of fun over here tonight, playing some uh, some fantastic records, celebrating some uh, some lives, and uh, having a good time. I hope everybody had a great week. So we got some cool stuff. I got a. You can see the package down there on the floor, and I'm not talking about between Jay's legs, obviously. Uh, package in the mail from the number one uh, nifty gifter, Mr. Nebulous Prowler. The stork dropped it off uh, in my front front door vagina Hell, I'll, I'll, yesterday. I'll, I'll, I wouldn't be surprised if a drone dropped it off on your front porch. I mean, them drones, man, they're they're like doing everything. They're like robots, you know? What is this material? Uh, no, no, what just, up, Dave? Uh, Dave said, uh, recently ate too much alphabet soup, had a huge vowel movement. Okay. 
Speaking of jokes, we got some. Uh, we got a big weekend planned here. We got a lot of stuff going on. So yeah, you, uh, Howie Mandel's coming through this weekend. Speaking Jay, of, you said speaking of jokes, I mean, Jay had this theory earlier that that uh, Marky Post faked her on death. Well, I said it's possible. I Are mean, you standing on business with that? No, I just I, I, listen, man. You get in these message boards. Stuff starts flying around. And uh it we'll can see. get a little bit sideways really yeah. quickly. Yeah. Um but yeah, big weekend. We got uh those of you that don't know, and I'm not a huge fan or anything, but me and Jay both went to NC State. Uh neither one of us graduated from there. But we did go there. We are in North Carolina. NC State's in the final four in both men's and women's, which Never mind. They lost earlier. Is that right? In the women. Sure. I wouldn't watch that if uh, you threatened my dad to... And, my dad and his brother that's getting ready to pass away. I was going to say his late brother. He hadn't died yet. He might die, though, in the next day or two. So my dad went and watched that game, watched him lose by 20 with his... Uh, that's that's what he might go out on. If, if the Victoria's Secret models were playing basketball on television, I would probably rather go to work. You know, you know, I was thinking, though, I, I could... Uh, Just not interested. It's I not could. my bag. I could go on a website and find the coach's number. Sure. Text him the story of my uncle. Oh, there you go. And say and he, he could, what if they want So your it. uncle's really going to croak this weekend? Uh, it's going to happen really soon. Sure. Um, I got a guy. You got a cremation guy? I, I, I saw an ad in the paper for a guy. No, I got a guy. I'll cut you a deal. But uh, I thought about texting the coach, saying, telling him, hey, like... Uh, Tell them the story, and maybe that could urge them to win, and then they win, and I, then we get famous because uh, sure we did that whole thing. You, know? you could come it's be a, on our news program. It's a no lose situation, really. I mean, Actually, like low key, I produced or not produced. I edited a thirty minute show this week for the uh, NC State um, men's or women's both, oh. which we won't get into that. But anyway, um, but yeah, it, it aired tonight on television, and um, that game is tomorrow night at six p. Is that right, Jay? Yeah, like 6 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Daylight Time. Six seven eight. It's to be light. You changed your clock, yet, Jay? Hey, you what? I've been. You know how people talk about like doing things early. You know, like mm -hmm. how, like Halloween's falls on like a Wednesday, so we're gonna have a party on a Saturday this year. They're, same thing with Christmas falls on a certain day of the week. Right. You know, I I, uh, I tried to start changing my clocks early, mm -hmm. and it didn't go well. Just to get ahead of everything. It didn't fare too well. Gotcha. There's a fellow at work. I got work. my wife back. I got my car back. I got my truck back. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that part was ad libbed. There, there was a there was yeah. a guy there's a guy at work whose eyes are so far apart. One of them the time still hadn't changed. <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 you should write that one down. That was a good one. Uh, we we have a bad with... time for it. it sure, was the best time. But... Um. But no, we got the um, we got the NC State Final Four game tomorrow night, six p. Eastern Daylight, and then uh, after that, we got a little WrestleMania, which I'm not caught up on WWE shit. I don't really watch it, but it's still a good time. It's a good story this year. I don't even know. I need to do like I'm sure there's a YouTube video that'll like catch me up on WrestleMania f previous tomorrow night, just yeah. to know what the fuck's um, going on. But it's a good word, excuse and, to throw and, some and, dogs and, on the grill, and drink a couple of cold beers. Too, you know? Word has it that it's going to be done at 11 p.m. this year. Is that right? So. Okay. Anyway, that's what's big. And so in in, uh, in honor of that, I did have some uh, some of our younger viewers, actually not viewers, I've had some, some kids send in some wrestling jokes for the show tonight. Oh, boy. This ought to yeah. be interesting. So I I skimmed over these, but I didn't really I didn't really get uh, get a good look at these as Jerry didn't populate this list as quickly as I would like. Um, okay, this first one, oh, that's, that's sharp. It's a little dated and a little sharp. Are you ready? For, is that okay? Sure. All right. Um, this is from Sean McBride, third grade, Alan J. Alan J. Right up the road, school Alan J. What does Roman Reigns have in common with a child suffering? I don't know what. Both are over over because of leukemia. That's a little bit dated, but okay. Okay, that's from a few years back. Now, where are you meeting these kids to get these jokes? That's not. Uh, you know what an IRC is, Jay? 
No. Um, so here's another one that got sent in. Oh, what? I thought that was the joke. What happened when Triple H walked into a wall with a boner? <laughs> what? He broke his nose. Alright, man. Kids, your kids can be so harsh. What's man. red and yellow and sits at, at, in the corner at parties crying? What? Salk Hogan. That's pretty good. It's not bad, I right? Like Alright. Um, the broken nose thing, that's a little generic. I've heard that used in other... Uh... Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting Ric Flair. Interrupting... Woo! Let's everybody All get right, we're back. We're back. Good opening segment, everybody. Appreciate it. Oh, just I walked in on Jerry taking a shit earlier. I mean, that's it's happened. We've had a conversation about the door lockage situation. It's not a tough task. Oh, you no, think it would be pretty even easy? Closed. Yeah, it's still he likes that crack. There's something about that crack. He mentions airflow. I think I got I got a big fart fan in there. A it's double like, F. Airflow. Timmy installed a really nice fart fan in there. That thing would suck the chrome off a trailer hitch. And, uh, you know, so I don't get the crack in the door anyway. Thanks for everybody joining us, Grumman Record Night. Like I said, we have a fantastic time this evening. We've got a package to open down here. we got some super crazy shit happening in the world of chips. we also got a brand new soda coming in, courtesy of the Zonk Man, which we've not done here on the program before. So it's going to be a big-time show, and... Um, Jesus, fuck, fuck, Jay, I'm here for it. All right. I'm here for Zalt it. Man brought a soda. Correct. Last week, but then Steve muscled his way Have in with a different soda. Have you wrote him a check to reimburse him yet? We got, a, we got some petty cash. Um, it's a $5 per diem uh, for that's, the week. That's not a per diem. No, it's not a per diem, but it's a $5 uh, expense for the week. You can get back. And it's tax deductible in the <clears> long <throat> run, which is good. Have you started smoking again? You sound like you're smoking. <clears throat> No, I haven't smoked since uh, December 31st around uh, 11.50 p.m. Well, that's pretty generic. Um, this is my New Year's uh, revolution. Number nine. Yeah. Well, actually, my New Year's resolution I hadn't really kept up with because I said I was going to start, I was going to stop taking shits. <laughs> That didn't last but like nine hours. Yeah, I was trying. I was trying to lay off the scabs a little bit, Jay, but I I just can't keep my hands off Dude, of them. Scabs are bad this year. Is that right? It's that. It's something about the weather. Dry air. It's scab weather. It's yeah. a nor'easter. That's it's what it scab is. Weather. It's yeah. scab weather for I mean, sure. We live close to the beach. Sure. I mean, we're you know, a couple three hours. Sure. Go ahead, sorry. Don't forget about the, uh, where are we at in the brackets? We got the Groman Record Night we bracket. We talked about it on Sunday, so... Uh, Who was leading the pack? Uh, no pun intended. Scotty. Scotty was up the there? Pack. I can't remember, cannot okay. recall his name. I believe Scotty's uh, going to be at WrestleMania tomorrow night, actually. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah, that's right. Um, Take a picture and send it to us, Yeah, Scotty. send a picture. Uh, uh, Take a selfie. Um... We'll make it a graphic. Yours truly is second, and then you're third. Is that right? And uh, I think, um... That's a nice lineup. And, uh... Uh, Shane's uh, coming up the rear in last that's, place. That's all I remember. So. That seems that's tart. That's a tart description of that. Uh, Aaron says, "Sorry, I was late. I was cooking some horse ankle meat kebabs. Horse ankle meat. Wow, Whew. that sounds chewy. Chewy. I know him. Oh, I bet that. I bet that kind of meat will race right through you. Yeah. Like a like a red eye flight to. Never mind." Never mind. I was about to take that slow train to Philly, Jay, and I just decided against it. I'm a better man for it, honestly. I so we got the somebody... brackets. We got the baseball drop. Don't forget to go uh, exclamation point merch. Check out the limited baseball drop yeah, well, from the Roman well, Record Night Shop. sold out, so you better get yours soon. It's uh, uh, It's been almost... going for a couple of weeks. It's only going to be up for a little while longer. And then I'm gonna, just going to yank it. I'm not even going to – I'm not going to warn you. I'm just going to yank it the fuck off of there. So if you're interested in getting one of those uh, – Groman Record Night Hardball 
hats or shirts snatch them up right now we're not making a lot off this a couple bucks i think i think max profit is like if you wanted to like make profit off of it you got to charge like 35 dollars for a shirt and shit i'm not doing that shit i think the shirts are 20 bucks the hats are 25 i think that's a fair price in today's market jay you try to go get something off it go get a ball cap or something off the internet you're going to pay more than 25 i'm gonna buy a few of them Give them to Goodwill so we can distribute them out to the public. You know, I got a 45 that happened. That guy, that Tyler Baum, Baum, Tyler Baum, or Baum, Baum however you want to say it. Uh, thrift Store Shampoo is the name of the 7-inch. It's up here somewhere. And the, the motherfucker uh, recorded it and then went through thrift stores throughout the southeast, mainly in North Carolina, I found, and uh, dropped them off in Goodwills. And I've, I found one, and Steve found two, actually. Like the same week, and we were in different thrift stores. Like, kind of cool if you can afford to do it. I think it's a fantastic. The guy's also like a visual artist, and uh, does a lot of cool, like crazy graphic animation shit, and like physical art, and then also uh, the the shit on the on the record is fucking bonkers shit. It's really out there, but mm -hmm. a fun listen. I like that kind of stuff. I'm a, I'm I'm kind of a weirdo guy, Jay. I have kind of a weirdo taste in some of the music I like to listen to, as evident here on the show program we do uh, every week. You guys know that this is not this is not new news. I don't know what you want me to say, man. I mean, I don't know. You're not, you're not speaking out of turn or anything. I don't think so. I don't think I'm speaking out of turn. Um, I chose this picture for this for this occasion, but and we did celebrate this and what we yeah. play. But I wanted to talk about it right off the rip. It's the fucking elephant in the room for this <clears> particular <throat> day in rock and roll history. Um. 30 years ago, we lost Kurt Cobain this day, and then several years later, we lost Lane Staley the same fucking day. How crazy is that that they died the same day? And yeah, this is like uh, probably about 10 years apart. I'm gonna, what is it? It's 2002. 2002, so yeah. 11. What's that? No, <laughs> let's just so don't, 11, don't, 12, don't even do that. <laughs> don't even try to do well, that. Y'all do some math. No, anybody get up, man. But uh, I found this. I found this little piece of artwork. And I, you know what? I'll give some kind of low key artist a little a little day in the spotlight for all our uh, thousands of viewers right now. And uh, yeah, it's cool, man. And we uh, we we jam some of their shit tonight. We should probably take a shot for them. Honestly, sure. if we're going to take a shot for anything. Oh, yeah. I've not been drinking a lot. I've not been doing a lot of drink. True, right? I guess I, I don't see you every night, but right. But the but folks, when we Facetime, I don't know. I don't sit sitting around. <laughs> FaceTime. Anywhere, though, you know. catch me Facetime and Jay. <laughs> you know I've done shit in pants. Do you Facetime me, buddy? No. You don't Facetime your mom. No. My son Facetimes me. Eh. He didn't even ask. He'll call me first and say, "Hey, I'm getting ready to Facetime you," and then he'll Facetime me. I'm sure I look stupid talking on the phone. I, I mean, I like it. I like it. I'll probably forget and like roll my eyes or like you know I, you know. I, do you FaceTime? No. I mean, I guess you guys don't have like. Well, I'm, su I'm surprised the, the kid son. hasn't FaceTime. Yeah, I mean, I'll give you that. So. The grandson. Well, yeah. it's an iPhone thing too. I think that's one thing yeah. that's. Yeah. Don't call me. Period. Jesus Christ! What's happening in the chat right now? Who've I not mentioned? Uh, Kurt's mic looked like a chicken leg in that drawing. Let's, yeah, it kind of. Let's does, take another actually. look. Let's go to the tape, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and he's, he also looks like he's possibly been frightened by something in the room. Uh, I don't know, maybe like a, maybe somebody in a ghoul costume. Stop you ever seen a ghoul? Kentucky Kurt. Yeah. Who, who do you think he looks like the colonel right there? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I'm just Kentucky Fried Chicken. Could be. Oh, oh could gotcha. Been the brain I thought, you, say, I thought you said he favored the colonel there. He could have been a colonel. I mean, he could be a Kentucky colonel if he paid the money, probably. Paid the money? I think it's you just pay it. So oh, buy. don't no kind slander. Like Hollywood, don't slander that. Kind of like the Hollywood Walk of don't, Fame. Don't slander that. No, I really think it is. I mean, that seems like slander. Um, yeah, let's pour us up a shot. Get a shot. Somebody, you can pour us up one, or you can throw it in here. We'll douche it up. Douche it up. Come on. Man. I do shine my pants. I did rock the battle jacket. Maybe I said this the last time. Possibly for the last time of the year. It's a little nippy down here in the Carolinas this evening. We've had a little cold snap come through. So, oh, can you grab his shot glass? Um, oh, no. oh, yeah. So this may be the last of the year for the battle jacket. So I want to get it in while I can. It normally when we start streaming in here, it's uh, it gets really fucking hot, but uh, it's actually pretty chilly in here tonight, and I've not turned the heat on at all. So I was like, you know what? I'll just sleeve up. 
They were just sleeve up, Jay. You want yeah, to move you those? Yeah, those you want to just pour it right on the fucking. I just washed this mouse pad this week. Look at that, pristine. It's not on the mouse pad though. No, no. I'm telling you, you're getting close. I think it's the uh, two members of Jefferson Airplane died on the same day. Is that right? But like years apart. You get you one to all oh, this right here. Aaron Griffiths, you need a battle tank top. Thank battle you. Battle tank. God, I hate a tank top. My uh, my I uncle, my uncle born and died on the same. Was born and died on the same day. Is that right? The mm -hmm. one that's about to die. No, 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 I'm telling him, like he's ever made it. Oh, I s sorry. I I contemplated telling that. Wow. But, you know, I contemplated. Wow. Because it didn't really happen. It's fictitious, but that's poor work out of you, Jay. That's poor work. <laughs> it's <laughs> proper preparation prevents poor performance, and you just violated the fucking five P's. That's an after mid. Is it twelve o'clock yet? No, I should have saved that about half an hour from now. That's poor. Cheers, everybody. Smells like teen spirit. Dude, I remember, um, I mean, not as much with the lane shit, but like when Kurt died, that was like. That was major, major, major music. That was place. big time business. And uh, I only got more into Nirvana and that kind of music. Uh, actually, that was. That kind of really started it. I was Did you I cry really cry more when Kurt died or when Michael Jackson died. No, I didn't cry when Kurt died because I didn't. Um, I was a fan, but I wasn't a rabid fan. I was not a rabid fan really I until after he died. Like after he died is when I really started deep diving into that scene and that and that every then it really started everything. That's normal. That's when I kind of tuned out in school and uh, started. You know, we started playing in rock and roll bands. That was the same. Th that yeah, started pretty, it all for me. Pretty normal though. I mean, that really started it. You knew who they were, and then they pass on, and you want to find out all about them. Yeah, yeah. Find out they anyway. an interesting life. You're still doing just water, Miss You? Oh, speaking of, have you ever, um... How do you, uh, you scrape... What's up, Chad? You scrape it. Grunge is over red. I mean, I think they're just good rock bands, and some of them are shitty, and some of them are... are good, and grunge is such a weird thing anyway, because it's, I mean... You know, but it all it, there's some similar sounds from a scene. That's you know, people are like, I hate to say that you know, there, some of them are well, like okay, for a good example, Soundgarden is not. I don't I don't see them as like a grunge band. They sound like a hard '70s band, really. Soundgarden. Yeah, I mean, well, grunge some is of more like grunge is kind of presented as more of a flannel thing. Well, and more of a punk. What? More of a punky influence. Was, I don't know, but um, no, it was. I mean, grunge was like more of a more of a look too, though. I mean, I mean, all, I mean, you can see general, general kind of genre, but it was generalized. But they were all kind of there like, were bands like you dressed like too. Tad and Mud Honey and uh, some of the early Nirvana stuff. Those had some similarities, uh, and but like Pearl Jam was sort of doing that, but sort of not. They were still doing like big long solos and shit. And I mean, Pearl Jam was considered run back then. When I was a kid, or you know, in high school, the fact that because I was a Nirvana guy, Cameron was a Pearl Jam guy, and the fact that they considered both of those grunge really pissed me off back then. Because Smashing Pumpkin was considered because Pearl Jam was clean. They were slick. They were good. I mean, like technically good. And that, that and that but... and that and that and that kind of pissed me off back then. It wasn't until much later when I they were more radio friendly. Yeah, and like put together, they were put together. Like that's the, that's that's what I always kind of got from it anyway. And I, I love what I loved about Nirvana. And yeah, I, you know, at the time I'd never heard, you know, the Dead Kennedys or Black Flag or anything crazy like that. But they were just it's like they didn't care and like shit was like sloppy and just loud and that here it is fucking take it and whatever and that, yeah. I thought that's what really drew me in and to me Pearl Jam was the opposite of that yeah. anyway Pearl Jam huh? yeah what's up John not John not up in the chat that's Mr. Tambroni Jay John John not that's Mr. Tambroni um anyway Let's move on down the line, shall we? John hates, Jesus. Uh, John hates and I'm, and when I say Jesus, I mean fucking Jesus. I'm gonna need some help on this one, Jay. Okay. This one is gonna. 
Hey, that's what I'm here for, man. This one is hard to even read. So we got late word this afternoon. Um, I think Aaron Griffin posted it in the Discord. Oh. Um, actually, I skipped one. But that's okay. No, 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 no. Here it is. According to Nikki Six Twitter page, new crew coming up right around the corner. People have heard it say it's powerful. A powerful cross between country and hip hop. So I heard something about this like a week ago. Okay. Is it a troll job? Please, Christ. Here's what I did when I read this little little article about this. From like Metal and you know it's from Metal Sucks, I think. I immediately went to the tweet and I went right down there to the bottom because I was like, surely this is gonna be from April 1st. Mm. Right? And it's not. It's from April 4th. And I was like, oh fuck. Wait, this is real? I wanna say I saw a short on uh, Tommy Lee or something about it. They've gotta be trolling. I mean, because Let's be honest, they've not been doing Maybe it's the same thing. fantastic know. in the last few years. And the guy wrote right in the article, he's like, I swear to God, if Nith, if Vince Neal starts rapping, he's like, I swear to God. That's maybe, oh, no, he'd be the countryside of it. Vince Neal. Well, I don't know. That, that, that'd be a good way to get away from actually having to sing because he's not been doing fantastic with the singing. Have no talent? Some I'm, rappers have no talent? No, no, no. They, but Is that what you're saying? He can rap and not sing. Not saying he'll do it good. Yeah, I mean... But... Uh, sounds like a late April Fool. That's what this, I was saying. This is... Uh, Metal Sucks eight hours ago. And he said... They said that? That's what multiple yeah. outlets are saying the yeah. same thing. So. That's fucking terrifying. So what's your thoughts, Jay? Did you hear that that Kiss sold their whole like everything? Um, you know, I did not hear. Was that this week or something? Today, I th I'm pretty sure it came out today. I mean, it doesn't surprise me in the least bit. This is this is this is the the press release here. Months after finally calling it quits from their human forms, legendary rock band Kiss sold everything to Pop House Entertainment. Pop House, who's Says, that? When I they're the ones that, that are going to do the hologram shit. Oh. So when I say everything, I mean everything. Their music, their brand logo, likeness, publishing rights, master recordings, fucking everything. Everything from KISS has now been sold. That's fucking crazy. I'm not the biggest KISS fan. I like KISS, but like, that's crazy. So the, like I said, these are the people that are going to be doing the hologram thing and they're going to start doing that. Those hologram shows, apparently, in 2027 is going to be the first one. Oh, man, that's a long ways off. Isn't that crazy? I don't think Gene Simmons has a has a tie like... Codnod Joe is kind of a rap. All right. Sure. Who said that? <laughs> um, also coming from the Discord, and... Um, yeah. What a fantastic! I'm ex I'm stoked for this. A brand new resin album. Vance dropped this. Old VK dropped this in the Discord earlier today. Uh, it's going to be coming out June 14th. Chicago guys, uh, they're they're now signed with Sergeant House. I can't remember who put out their other stuff, but they're on Sergeant House now, and um, they shared a video for Chasm, which is uh, fucking fantastic. Which has uh, Russian Circles guitarist Mike Sullivan on it. Another Chicago band. Mm. Um, this is what they say about this. He says, We wrote Chasm to depict the final phase of existential descent when you're on the last few steps of the spiral staircase and realize there's no going back. That's fucking deep. We wanted to sound like the walls are closing in on all sides and you're looking at the gate getting further and further away. Jesus Christ. And uh, the, the one they put out last year, I don't know, what was the name of that one, Zong, man? I can't, Shit, I can't remember the title. Yeah. Uh, but that was one of my uh, favorite albums of the year, that resin joint from last year. Mm -hmm. uh, VK sent it to the program. That's mm -hmm. uh, well, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite um, albums of last year. And so these guys are like, and what I loved about what they did last year, they're not only uh, tuned down, heavy fuzz, um, doomy riffs, but lots of psychedelic elements as well. 
and they started incorporating a lot of synth work into their stuff, which I found to be very tasteful and uh, added to the vibe. And it made them different than a lot of, well, let's face it, a lot of those stoner doom bands just tune way down, put some thick-ass fuzz, play slow riffs, and, you know, some of it's really good, some of it's just meh. Mm -hmm. And they kind of took that formula and went a, an extra step with it, and I think they've they've kind of come up with something. Much like Elder has done. Elder's kind of taken that formula and made it their own, and as they keep releasing records, they get better and better and different, more different, more different. And uh, Resin's kind of on that same path, I think. So I'm excited to check this one out when it comes out in June on Sergeant House House Records. Oh, Be on the lookout. Awesome. Solace is the 2020. Solace? Yes. Okay, cool, cool. And the first one was great, too. But the la that one last, you could tell they took a step last year. Um, and, that's some, uh, uh, deep, that was some uh, deep analysis. That's man. what I do, man. What are you talking about? All um, resin stuff was self released before they. All they all self released. Yes. Wow, very cool, very cool. Um, this popped up today. Um, I think I snatched this from Pitchfork or something. I'd not heard any uh, anything about this, but Orville Peck, who we love here on the program, kind of a neo country artist, uh, doing a lot of. A lot of cool stuff over the last few years. Uh, he's going to be... He's released a song with fucking Willie Nelson. And it's a cover of uh, Ned Sublet's Cowboys Are Frequently Secretly... Cowboys Are Frequently Secretly Fond of Each Other. And if you don't know the song, it's... Well, first of all, Orville Peck, he's a homosexual gentleman. He is a gay man. He's a gay man. And uh, that song is very much about how cowboys actually, like secretly like each other because you know oh, whatever i mean hadn't you ever seen brokeback mountain that similar vibe and so willie nelson is on this track with him which is like i mean people are loving the shit out of this it's a really good version i will say and i hate to say this willie is almost starting to sound a little bit not like willie what's he sounding like an old fucking man oh he's 91 yeah i mean oh you really is he really 91 this is the first time I've listened to Willie and been like, whoa, saw, what's he, going on here? He actually looks good for 91. Sure. I mean, he's picking them up and putting them down. Like a, and he's lived a hard life. I mean. Maybe I've just not noticed, but it's the first time, especially recorded. It's one thing to sound sketchy live. Bob Weir sounds like an old man now, too. But he definitely sounds like an old man. But he's not 91. Though. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, but yeah. Anyway, I thought that was really cool. It's a cool version of the song but and you know, uh, at ninety-one, real tongue in cheek and uh, at ninety-one though. I mean, he can get yeah, away yeah. with that. Good cover. Good cover, man. He's um, really pretty. He's lived a pretty fascinating life. Willie Nelson. Yeah, he's seen sure. a lot in his uh, his day. Man, we should all be so lucky to be fucking Willie Nelson. He's kind of like the perfect. I don't say the perfect life. Everybody well, has well, their fucking problems. Tax thing. Yeah, I mean, I mean everybody has their fucking struggles. Yeah, that but... thing where you got caught like spying on women peeing when you put the camera in the bathroom. No, that what's somebody different? That's Chuck Berry. Stop. We're not going to talk. We're not going to do that. It really was Chuck Berry. I know, actually. but that's my hero. Let's not do that. Um. Also, Vance posted this to the uh, to the to the Acid? Uh, Discord. Acid Mammoth. Yeah. Greek band. Uh, supersonic Mega Fauna Collision. Brand new record coming out from these guys, and this actually came out. Uh, no, wait, this didn't come today. out today. Did it come out today? Yeah, this came Maybe out today. Vinyl. Yeah, yeah, this came out today. Uh, let me read what it says here. We're uh, happy to announce our brand new full length album, Supersonic Mega Fusion Collision. This product is uh, this product of impenetrable evil is coming out April 5th, which is day that's heavy sight. Release this, get ready to be overtaken by a storm of. Pachyderm, guitar riffs, woolly bass, explosive drumming, and witchy vocals. Been uh, digging on these guys for a few years. Even I don't, I don't own any on vinyl. You got some, some of the stuff on vinyl, don't you? Don't know, so. Um, but they've come up on multiple mixes forever that I've listened to uh, digitally uh, across the board. Fantastic band, kick ass stuff though. Kick ass. And uh, what I sampled from the new record was uh, just as good. Kind of on that same tip. And it's one of those things where I check out, I see a label. Uh, you know, we, we're big fans of the Ripple label. And I saw this, and I'm like, let's, let's check it out. And I think I've stumbled across these guys before. It's not 100% my vibe, but um, Temple of the Fuzz Witch. And if that's not a Doom name, I don't know the fuck yeah, it is. Yeah, I like that name. Temple of the Fuzz Witch. Uh, Apothesis on Ripple came out today. <laughs> it's a Detroit band. They call it Black and Doom. Slow, lurking, fast and furious and punishing. 
Uh, it, it really is. The riffs have that that Velcro tearing fuzz kind of sound tuned way down. The vocals uh, are are good. There, there's some melodic stuff in there. There's some aggressive stuff in there. So it's a nice little mix. Mm. But uh, it's worth checking out. Aaron said I dated a fuzz witch at one time. Holy shit. Was she Lithuanian? How often did she have her period? Okay, that's... Where did that <laughs> Was come it from? normal? What is that about? <laughs> because they say if it's every six weeks instead of four, uh -huh. that, that means they have two vaginas. A tube of vaginas. What did you eat tonight? Pasta. Okay, that's not what I meant, but okay. Um, What'd you eat tonight? You don't eat. You don't eat the later. What's a period? I had a. Oh, what's a period? Well, it's funny you asked, Miss. No, Miller, no. Because there's visual proof of what a period. We're is. not going to do that right now. My, um, I don't yell. My lovely Pakistani neighbors came over and brought me a styrofoam container filled with uh, rice and uh, chicken, mm. and a few French fries, which was odd. And it's always really fucking spicy. The. So, that's what I'm going to be eating later. But if I'd ate all that before, there would, there would be no fucking show. Mm -hmm. I'd be laying down on the floor, for fuck's sake. Under a blood red sky. This is a um, Jay is high on spaghetti sauce. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> sure. Um, I knew this was coming out, and I've kind of fallen off on these guys in the past few years, but I, I have to tell you, I saw Shane picked up several copies, and this cover, this has got to be cover of the fucking year. I mean, look at this album cover right here. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? That's a pretty fucking cool cover right there. So Black Keys um, released an album today called Ohio Players. It's their fourth album in five years. I guess they took like a break for a while and came back and released a bunch of records like bam, 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 bam in a row. These new records, I've not really listened to. The last one I listened to, which I have on vinyl, is the one where he's dipping the fingers into the salve. That cover, I don't think, know. What, uh, I don't know. Thick, delicious, uh, thickness or whatever. Yeah, something. Uh, that's the last one I have, and I like that stuff, and I love their earlier stuff, uh, much more rugged and raw. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is pretty. It's a play, Ohio player. They're from Ohio, and um, uh, this is kind of a tribute, to, not a tribute, but uh, that's a that's a nod to, you know, the funk man of the Ohio players. Sure, pretty fucking cool. Let's see what else they say in here. Um, uh, Big freakness. Anyway, but they've been uh, something cool. That I noticed they said here, kind of on the side here. The Black Keys were also DJing dance parties in cities around the world that they called record hangs, spinning 45s for their own uh, collection. That's pretty fucking cool. Just kind of something that they've been doing in the meantime. But I liked them the first time. They were called the White Stripes. To my next point, that's a beautiful segue, Jay. I appreciate that. that's a be that's good work out of you. Thanks. That's a beautiful segue, because here's my here's my one problem with the Black Keys. I still can't let it go that Jack White confronted Dan Auerbach and like for ripping them off or whatever their sound. Yeah. And like in a bar and like snatched them up yeah. like you know yeah. and Dan Auerbach's where who's right or wrong whatever the fuck he may have been way out of line I don't know. But Auerbach's response was, uh, don't fight me. I'm a pacifist. I'm a pacifist. I'm not going to fight. Mm. It's like some motherfucker snatches you up, accuses you of some shit, and you, the first thing out of your mouth is, I'm a pacifist? I feel you, but like... Quaker, he could be Quaker. They're not. They're pacifists. Everybody makes mistakes, Jay. And that's why I still, I'm oh, not. Trust me, everybody does. I'm mistakes. not writing off the black keys. That one just sticks in my craw a little bit. And yeah. so everybody makes mistakes. I wonder if he, I wonder yeah. if he's ever thought about that and been like, you know what? I should have said, fuck off, dude. You didn't have to take a poke at him, but you could have said, fuck off, dude. Mm. Anyway. I don't know. I don't respect that. There's something about that. Hey, I don't, you it's only, always. You only live once, as they yeah. say. You can't go back and change things, man. Oh, Dan said that happened in a Detroit bar. That's funny as fuck. Mm. What's up, Sean? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I like the White Stripes a little bit better from. Uh, I mean, I've listened to quite a bit of White Stripes, and I listen to a lot of. Them. Oh yeah, that Quake up there in uh, New Jersey. But, you felt that shit, Sean? It was like a, it was like a four point. Uh, four point eight. 
And oh, then yeah, an aftershock was like a four. Were, oh yeah, that's they were don't they transition the Jardiets of uh, women today? <laughs> that's what that time. That's the transference of power. <laughs> About my A1C. Oh, that's terrible. Even now, I think that's bad. Uh oh. Um, shook your house for like ten seconds. That's fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. I felt a little rumbly under my feet, like that one that was on the Mid Atlantic one several years ago. Uh, uh, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was the uh, friend of the program, Randy, Big Randy. Randy's a big old fella. We're talking big, big. Okay. And uh, Randy come in my office in my edit suite, and he was like, "Do you feel that? There's something moving, shaking." And I was like, "Randy, I'm gonna be honest with you, brother. I thought you stomping around. I thought Randy, because Randy's the type of motherfucker to move a floor around. If you, you know, he's a big fella. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'll probably yeah. shake a, I shake a floorboard or two now in my days. Yeah. Jay, there's been a time or two I probably shook a floorboard." Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But I, I, that's, I felt the earthquake, and it wasn't even like, whoa, that was an earthquake. I was like, oh, that's Big Randy fucking getting up and getting a cup of coffee. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. I didn't uh, know what it was at the time. Right. Well, we're stupid, so we, you know. we don't live in earthquake uh, areas. We're high, uh, high chance for earthquake. I know not everybody watching the program is fans of hip-hop at all. But I did want to highlight this. This is a nice uh, reissue, I guess. This came out like 2018. Uh, Ghostface Killer, mm. Big Ghost Limited, the Lost Tapes. And uh, you would think Lost Tapes is going to be a bunch of old shit. But it's a bunch of new stuff, a bunch of collaborations and stuff. And um, I revisited this album today. God damn, man, let me tell you. What, a, what an underground sleeper this record is. Um... It really doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't get the get the fucking flowers it needs, and I, I'm telling you, I I sat with it, I sat with it for a little bit today, and it was it's such a fucking great hip hop album. What, what year? 2018, I believe it is, and I guess it's um, I don't know if it's been out of press since then, but this is a uh, let me see what it says. Um, in celebration of the five year anniversary. Widely acclaimed. Uh, I mean, I remember talking about it, but I don't remember. I don't know. Widely acclaimed. I don't know. You know. <clears throat> Deluxe edition reissue. Um, it's got the main and instrumental presses, so it's like a big boy. It's probably going to be not going to not going to be cheap, but uh, got a lot of good guest stars and stuff. And it's. Uh, yeah, you ever went on? Uh, you ever go on uh, who sampled.com? Yeah, absolutely. I, I went on that. Went on that website this week and like went down a rabbit hole. Was on there for like an hour. Yeah, compelling stuff. Yeah, uh, I think Boss Man's the first one to turn me onto that. Actually, yeah, it's a good sight. Back in the day, here's um, okay. Let me go ahead and throw that fucking um, graphic on this because I got a couple this week that would probably fit into the Grown Man Record Night oh, wild card category. Oh boy. A couple oh. of wild cards. Oh boy. So got major action right here. Stuff that just really tripped my fancy and uh, well, one I kind of knew about. One I had no idea about. Um, the first one is, again, this is another genre that not everybody's like super into, and, and I get it. But um, this cover, first of all, look at the cover. Bachem Velt. And um, the, the cover drew me in, and I started, I don't know what made me look at it. Oh, I saw that, and then I realized it was on uh, Reflex Records with a PH. And for folks that know, that's the label of um, Richard D. James, AKA Aphex Twin, like his his private label. And this came out in 96. Um, it's, it's, he's an Italian guy that does a lot of DJ stuff under DJ, what's his? Kelly. Um, no. Khaled, sorry. It's like DJ Kelly. Costanzo. Costanzo. No, Costanzo. Uh, Bacherum Velt is a combination of the German word for world and the name of a high-powered astral telescope. Anyway, this guy's done a bunch of stuff, but this shit back in, if you like that uh, 90s Aphex twin vibe, and I'm, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about Nate Mars, I'm thinking about Nick Tronic, uh, some of you folks out there that like that kind of shit, if you've never heard this record, and also shouts to my man Stunty, who I'm sure probably has an OG of this, 
but um, it did make me think of Stunty. That fucking that nineties. It, it sounds like. I mean, I see why Aphex Twin put this on Reflex because yeah. it was. It sounds a lot like that vibe. So anyway, we got some sub hype. Did I miss some fucking shit? Oh. What does that name say? Say, what is that? Gangzer. Resubscribed. Been subscribed for five months. Thank is, you for the five. You say, get that fucking pickle. I couldn't read that fucking What does that pickle. name say? Is that what you said? Yeah, because my vision is fucking blurry. I think I'm not even fucked up. I think that's just old age, man. You know who Mark Post was when she died? Thank you for How the five, you? homie. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? That that's not important. That's oh, you're forty seven, right? That's all Marky Post was when she Oh, died. would you stop? This is the other wild card. Um I saw this cover and I was like, okay, let's let's take a maybe second look at the we've had some fantastic covers to talk about tonight. This yeah. right here. What's she drinking? Um, is that, it there looks is like they're shotgunning. Look, look, or like she, like a uh, bottle of jizz, like beer bomb. Be <laughs> no, Jay, come on. <laughs> this is from a band called Beta Satan. The album is called Girls. It's their 2008 Girls, debut Girls, album. Girls. These guys are Danish. I've I've never I've never heard of these guys, and listen to it today. It's it, I mean, it's like straight up like alternative rock, but they had some really good jams. And I guess this has been out of print or like, I mean, for like ever uh, uh, until now. Well, Sean, and I right jammed now, it today and I really fucking enjoyed right it. Right now I'm about 2.15-ish. Uh, 2.15? Yeah. Okay. What is that? Is that kilometers? Is that low? Kilometers? Is that low or high? I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I don't know. What would you guess? What would you guess? Well, would I guess you are? Yeah. Let me pick you up. No, I'm not letting you pick me up. I mean, just look at me. What do you think? I nuts to butts. Let me pick you up. The most I've ever weighed is like 220. The very most I've ever weighed is 220. Ever. How far does the scale go? Dead ass serious. Is it? Is it in the white? <laughs> <laughs> or, is, or does it get to the orange? <laughs> you ever get to the Jesus orange? Gee, wish I was that white. You You ever get to the orange, Jay? Oh, I'm like. uh... What, you think I'm like 240, 250? No, I don't know. I have no yeah. idea. What would you guess? I have no idea. You laughed pretty hard when I said that. What I'd... are you thinking? How tall are you? 5'11". I'm, I'm a little insulted. I'd say 227. That's not far off. I mean, I I'd thought say you meant like, I I thought you meant like 272. No, 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 no. Like no. I was, I was gonna be a little insulted if you thought. No. That. Okay. I can, okay. That's just an, that's, that's not insulted. That's just a bad guess. That's just an improper. Okay. Well, I can get. I, I can live with it. How many little howies do you weigh? What's a little howie? <laughs> um. Sweet. Well, let's get into a little bit of what we played tonight. It's fantastic stuff coming off the turntables over here. From the from the Jeez. fellas. <laughs> The fellas put on a little bit of a display. It was yeah. I get an unsportsmanlike. You gonna throw that fucking Wendy's napkin? Who's uh, OC Surf Mama? What about the huh? OC Surf Mama? Who's that? That's Adrian. Okay. Not the Hulk. Uh, yeah, get a tape, Jay. It's all right. You can't let uh, people are gonna fixate on the snow. Oh, did you hear about? We're getting snow next week. No, we're not getting snow. A storm. Adrian says, "Hey, Jay." Hello. I like that, uh... Stop. I'm gonna st stop. That ace in the hole. Got an ace in the hole. <laughs> 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 uh, George Strait. Can't run Fantastic there. story to go along with the first record. Uh, I stumbled across this digging through the stacks as I was moving stuff around. And, uh... Was really reminded that I've not played this record in a really long time. It's a cool story. Um... The name of the album is called Moon Griffin, or that's the name of the group. Moon, Moon Griffin. Moon Griffin. Aaron Moon Griffin. Aaron Moon Griffin. Kathy Griffin. Uh, Glimpse of the Future. Great cover. And the cool thing about this was this was sent to us by our pal Curtis, an old school fan of the uh, friend of the program from a long time ago. And uh, still friends with Kurt on um, 
on social media and stuff. And I don't know if he gets to check the show out as much. I don't know. Uh, I hope he does because he's a good homie. He sent some cool stuff from Pacific Northwest. We got we got tough scenes working over here, folks. Right, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. We got it. There's some tough scenes over here. <laughs> what does but, that mean? <laughs> what it's, is this? It's, it's it's 1940s Brooklyn. It's not an ideal situation. Um. Anyway, he sent me this record. Introduced me to his friend. Oh, you know, virtually to his pal Elliot, who was in this group. Uh, does this project Moon Griffin I'm pretty sure his name was Elliot um, and uh, we became friends as well haven't spoken to him in a long that's been years and years and years ago but he was a really cool guy I hope I hope I'm getting his name right but um, so he not only worked on this project but he did like an after school program or something for kids uh, up in their town I want to say it's Portland Portland area and um introduce kids to making music and stuff like after school and not just like there was some acoustic guitars and drums and shit like that but also like uh, shit to make beats with and to record music and like to produce music and do stuff on PCs and stuff like that so he's a really cool guy I was really uh, really involved with doing stuff up there this is a really weird it reminded me at times a lot of like like acid jazz it's, it's very jazzy but it's got some soulful some Afrobeat shit at times. Um, but at times, I really call it that fucking like acid jazz, mushroom jazz kind of vibe from this, but not being like electronic, really. Um, real, really good stuff. And I, I cherish this record finally. I appreciate those guys. You made the camera go off, Jay. I don't know how. Stomping on around. Which one, side or top? Side. Hold. Stop. Walk away. Walk away. Play this one. Jesus Christ. Is it the beta tape? <laughs> oh, an eight track. Yeah, I put an eight track in there. <laughs> All right. Your VCR was kept getting error. Though, so okay. Put another tape in. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Um, I've had this kind of stuck in my crawl to play all week, or at least something from this band. And I was actually going to go for Around the Fur by the Deftones. Um, I was, I, mean, I caught myself singing a couple of tracks in the shower, like no bullshit, um, earlier this week. And I'm like, man, fucking Deftones. I'm going to play some older Deftones stuff. And then I forgot. I don't even know if this is an official release or not, but Finn got me this not long before she died. Um, Deftones covers, so it's an album of Deftones doing covers. And for what I've not listened to this record much at all. For whatever reason, I was mentioning it earlier, like when I um, when I go to reach for the Deftones, I guess when I'm in that mood, I go for like specific things. And I, for whatever reason, I never uh, uh, go for this mm. record. But this has uh, Drive, Caress, Please, please, please let me get what I want. No Ordinary Love, Savory, Do You Believe, Simple Man is on the side we didn't play, Ghost, The Chauffeur. chauffeur. Do You Believe is in uh, Cher? If Only Tonight We Could Sleep, that's a live track, and Sleepwalk, which I played for your sister's birthday. Remember that? Remember when we played your sister's birthday party? Yeah, I do. You don't remember I played Sleepwalk for it? You said that was her favorite song or something? No, I don't remember that. Uh, this yeah. is uh, this is an official record. It's an official record. Apparently. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's got all the. If it's not, it's a good copy. I mean, is it what what label is it on? Reprise. Okay. It smells official. Sure. Where'd you give me this for? Oh, it's putting it down here. What? Is this the first time you've been over here? Oh, I, I didn't realize we're into what we played. Sure. So. I wanted to kind of mix that up. Wait, was that the first record you played? Nope. I mean, why, you you why, missed that one. Then why didn't you give me the other one? <laughs> Uh, cause you were doing dumb shit. No, I, usually, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, oh, Cat got that, huh? Yeah, but the record's okay. Yeah, that's 
Uh, I played a little Hank 3, Brothers of the 4x4. It's funny because we were playing a monster truck video while this was playing, and they showed an Astro van with uh, all four, four wheeled up. Yeah. Not that this is an Astro van. Yeah. Nope. It's a Ford, though. You're a Ford. Lost some Hank 3. Can't remember when this came out. Hank 3 Records, that's that self-release shit. He got into a big fucking deal with his record company. They, he had a bad, he had a bad deal going on with those guys. Yo, Thumpfinger, what's up, baby? Hmm. Yeah, he, he had a pretty, pretty bad falling out. One of those things like where, yeah. 2013. 2013, okay. Thanks to Peavy. Thanks to Peavy, fucking A. Thanks to Peavy. Thanks to Gorilla Amps. No, it doesn't say that. Doesn't say that. Sorry. Sorry, I took it too far. I think I've told, I, speaking of Thumpfinger, I, I th I've probably told Thumpfinger this before, but. Growl! Uh, yeah, when me and Jay and Carl first started Porkchop and Carl was the bass player, he had one of those Gorilla amps that had a growl button on mm -hmm. it. Just hit that button. Or it, was, or it was a knob. It was a knob you turned to add different amounts of growl. Yeah. The overdrive. Yeah, it was like an overdrive. I thought a good uh, a good record to uh, mix in after um, after that Hank three mm -hmm. will be some cramps. This is an unofficial cramps uh, mm -hmm. record called Tales from the Cramps. Let's Man, see what it says on the front this here. Was, uh, this sounded like retro sounding. Sure. What year was this? Seventy nine. Unofficial release bootleg. Originally released in a bootleg. Nineteen seventy nine. Final near mint. Blah 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 blah. Kind of cut. felt like uh, Cave is the label. Cave kind of felt like uh, Reverend Horton Heat at times, you know, like a psychobilly freakout. Psychobilly freakout, you got it, Jay. Um, Jay just put on a French art film. Oh, it's crumb. Wait, where did Crumb come from? Is this not what y'all wanted to watch? Where did you find Crumb? No, oh, that's a, oh this my trailers. god. Trailers. This is a... I thought I had fucking <laughs> Chrome. I was about to lose uh, my shit. This is uh If I had Chrome on VHS, I would shit those fucking oh, this pants. Oh, heavy metal. Yeah. Oh, this is Fritz the Cat. Uh, anyway. Is that his autograph? So we did do a little tribute, a little Kurt and Lane tribute. I decided to play side two of Incesticide tonight. This is the, uh, on the Piss vinyl came out in the... Is that what that's called, really? The Piss vinyl? I think so. It's clear. It's no. Looks, looks nothing like my Piss. See that? Oh, if that was my Piss, you'll be able to see through it. Does it say what the color, what they call it? On the front. I can't read that. Color variant. It just says color color vinyl sure uh pretty good pretty good version of that it's all right and then Preston um germany this allison chains uh fm broadcast i believe from uh 92 live at the palladium in hollywood uh mr vk mr zep pearl sent this over to the program we certainly do appreciate it and played uh the side that uh side b which starts off with We Die Young. I mean, I figured I probably had to, right? You got to do that. Enjoyed listening to that tonight. Yeah. A lot of fun. Celebrating the lives of two fantastic musicians. Gone too soon. And then finished it up to close out the set. Little Here Lies Man. Mm. You Will Know Nothing. This is a Rod Neasy joint. It's uh, uh, Af Afro beat. Okay. It's kind of got a. It's like Sabbath and Afro beat kind of mixed together. Uh, I thought it had a couple of radio songs on it. Jeff Mann is the drummer. That you know him. That's the son of um, Herbie Mann. He's, you didn't know that, Shane. He's as sexy as his dad. He's a sexy gentleman. I don't know if he's up there with his dad. I mean, I've never seen an oiled up, shirtless picture of him to compare to be. You know. To really, to really get the scope of whether or not he is or Let's not. Let's see if man got credit on it. If he got credit? Yeah, it's got special thanks to it, and it's probably got about 50 names. It, 
Four. Grown man Jay's <laughs> urine night. I mean, I'm not opposed to it's it. Not it's not okay. funny. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, the Budos band. Shouts to the Budos on that. Sure, it's it's of that same kind of ilk. Budos band, black market brass. A little more on the uh, the the rock side versus like kind of the funkier side. Earthquaker um, devices. Earthquaker makes a good pedal. Yeah. It'll make some good stuff. Um, let me. Uh, that was what we played. I gotta fire up some marbles, I guess. Shit. Mm. Now my fucking stream's gonna freeze. <coughs> Mastered by Black and Decker. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's not. Mastered by Black and Decker. <laughs> You're mastered by Black and Decker, Jack. And that would tell you about that one time I had that problem with the Black and Decker can opener. Mm, no. Let's uh, Watch Sunday night if you want to hear that story. Oh, the oh there we go. Opener. Is that that deep tease? <coughs> <coughs> deep tease. <laughs> <coughs> you good, fam? Exclamation point play. Oh, Exclamation me. point play. Get you a good spot, folks. Let's get in here and have a nice, clean race tonight. Exclamation point play. Good, clean race, Jay. You getting in the race, Jay? I like clean races. Yeah, I don't want to be a part of things. That's what you say. That's what you say. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Wizard of Video Games owns the track record for the Record Night community at 140 and some change. So we'll look to try to beat that tonight. Good luck. If everybody puts in their best effort, I think it's I think it's possible. But put some mind. You gotta put your mind. I think this is a lot. Of, this is a big mental game. I it think. really is. It's a big mental game. It's a big. I mean, sure, being prepared helps out. But I think at the end of the day, um. What you're going to bring to the table when you drop in from the top of this board here, that's when it's that's when it's really going to matter. I really, it's a mindset. It's a mindset. I was looking at some at some cheat books this week. Some what? No, oh. no, oh, we don't do that. Oh, Marvel. No, Amazon's got them though. No, I mean, they're they, they might can bomb. No, don't do that. We're not we're not doing that. So can I ask you a favor? Yeah, yeah. What you need? Would you hand me a brewski? Yes, sir. It's in that box. I'm not... Uh, Throw it from across the other side of the room. Oh, these are bottles. Throw the ball. Oh, even better. I want, how, you want a beer? A lot, more, a lot higher risk. You want a beer? Uh, no, I'm good. It's a... What if I said it was a Michael Pilmer special? Do you know what that would mean? You don't remember what Pilmer was drinking when he was up here? Cross here? Strohs. Over over here? Strohs? How old are you? Uh, I'm still light. Yeah. Huh? Yes, sir. All right, let me pop this top, folks, and we'll run this race. It's got to be a... You got a bit, Jay? No. I don't smoke. What do I look like? There's one right there on top of your keyboard. Right, right. corner. Right here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's Big City. Double B, Big City. You ever been to Double B? Well, I've been to Double B, baby. Here we go. Let's run this race. Uh, boom. I like Heineken. Does that count? I like a Heineken. I drank one every few years. Heineken? Is that what you said? Heineken. Heineken? It's got a little pink Plinko board kind of thing going on here. What are you drinking for the Super Bowl this weekend? <laughs> well, shit. What would be the official? T. Watt doing some business. What, what would be the official beer of pro wrestling? Of pro wrestling? Yeah, it'd be something trashy. Yeah, it'd have to be like Bush or um, Strohs. PBR. Be, they don't sell Strohs anymore. PBR. PBR will be up there. Schaefer's. Schaefer's is too light. Look at Keystone, this. that'd be a good one. I like a Keystone. I do too. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. 
Isn't Keystone like the uh, it's cores? It's the bottom barrel cores light. Yeah. yeah. But like somebody was telling me, like here. somebody was telling me they saw a video of like they they literally roll off the same line. That's some, it doesn't taste exactly the same. Oh my. Oh, a record night off the board. Mm, too bad, man. Lim making all the. Uh, oh, you're in the cabbage. Look at Merv making moves. This is the, this is the finish. Oh, shit. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Merv. This is the grand final. Oh, shit. Race stream bot. <gasps> wow, we got a great hell of a race. Nate Bouchard off the fucking top right? A little swan oh. tongue bone. Oh, man. Fantastic race for the finish. Who's that right there? I don't know. Oh, that was the that was the uh, they won. track record. Yeah. That was the track record. The, the ghost. That was the ghost. That, and then Murr came in first. Oh, that was the track record. Wow, that was close to the track like, record, huh? Yeah, that's that ghost car, like when you run in uh, Gran Turismo. Yeah, but that was a great race with the track. Uh, I had no we'll wait for the official. Yet. We'll wait for the official here. We're looking very dapper in that suit. By Hell the way. yeah, boy! I like a good suit coat. You got one? I like. I like. I like with an unbutton like that. You like rocking a suit with an unbutton? Totally. Yeah, hundred percent. I'll rock a suit with a uh, golf shirt. Oh, uh, look at Miss You, bro. See, blazer. see what happens when you take days off, Miss You. Let's see the final results. I mean, I didn't finish. I can't say anything. You did. 140. Look how close Merv was to beating the track record. Yeah. The track record is 140, 123. He's 147, yeah. 87. Fantastic race. Wow. That's some good stuff right there. Nate Bouchard, Nebulous Prowler, top three right there. Everybody else, you don't get a mention. Was that the track Except for me that didn't finish uh, and miss you that came in last. Was that the Grown Men Record Night people or was that the track record? That's for our Record Night community, correct. Oh. Correct. Interesting. GG's across the board, though. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's always entertaining. I love seeing people jockey for position. Please don't use that phrase. <laughs> I hate that turn of phrase. Hey, let's uh, let's get into Dig of the Week action. Yeah. Some exciting business coming here on the yeah. this particular Dig of the Week segment uh, I tonight. Think, I think Bobby Zonkman might have a Dig of the Week. Yeah? You want to do some digs? What? I mean, I can. What you, what you, Bobby sure. Z. You want me to go first? You want to sure. Go first? Come on first. Come on first. Nice to see heavy metal on the TV. Hell yeah. Come on. Heavy metal. Oh, did you go to the bed bath and meet on the get yours? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got that's some, uh, great some stuff. Nice, some nice sandalwood candles to lighten the mood just that's, a touch. Yeah, that's great stuff. Sheets cup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, I'm here. I just want to say, did everybody have a good Easter? Is that like... Had a great Easter. Had, I uh, mean, is know. that like too far gone or something? No, no. I a good Easter. I got an Easter basket in there. I got... And my mm. mom, she's gotten... Um, not just she always has the dopest Easter baskets and like cool stuff to eat and little toys and shit like that. A couple of times she's given me my Easter basket and one of these. So then she's like, "Yeah, when you you know you eat all the candy and shit, like now you got your seven inch crate." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> this year, it's a um, a basketball trash can, so it looks like a hoop. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and she put all the shit in there, and when it's done, I'll have a I'll have a trash can hoop to put in here. Sure. Mm. If you're missing something, I may or may not have eaten it. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, there's some candy in there. I don't eat all the candy. Okay, so we're doing digs. We're doing digs. Um, this, I did, uh, we talked about it, it's been a few weeks now, the Clemens Record Show. Yeah. So this is my digs from the Clemens Record Show. Uh, I mean, am I ever going to be able to get you to the Clemens Record Show? I've been it's to them. Sunday. Em. I've been to them. Okay. I've not been to the new ones. Okay, how about in the future? Um, they do them like three times a year. Probably not. Probably not. Too many people. Too many people. Too much jockeying for position. What about just going to like hang out and be like, oh man. Yeah, I mean, I. it's possible, but I would never do the early morning thing. Right. That's just not, I'm not, 
I'm not that amped to to get anything, honestly. So it'd have to like uh, sedate you like Mr. T to get on an airplane or something like that. Pretty much. Like, I oh mean, shit, it's... we're at Clemens, you might as well come now. I'm sure like while <laughs> while I was there I'd probably have a pretty good time, but like the idea of like making it a thing and going is like uh ah, yeah. I don't know. Right, okay, okay. But uh I'm asking. I'm trying to get a feel. Yeah, I mean, but that's not to say I wouldn't ever go. Because, I mean, I've been before, but... Uh, right. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. What's that tank? Yep, there's old tanker. Yeah, old tank, tank. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is the records I got at the record show. Okay. Old no records. You didn't get anything at the record show? What's that? You didn't get anything there? Oh, yeah, no records. <laughs> So yeah, you're gonna be mad if uh, if you want to see records. There's all we do. got CDs. Okay. So yeah, for whatever reason, uh, there was actually a couple of good, uh, I'd say metal CDs. That's cool. So uh, I got like a handful here. Hell yeah. I'll try to uh, I'll try to whiz through them pretty good. Okay. Not get too crazy talking about them. Um. How about some Black Label Society Mafia? Nice. That has the Dimebag Daryl like tribute song on there. Oh yeah. I think it's in this river. Now what what I didn't want to talk about this, just is it too crass to talk about price? No, certainly Sometimes. not. So we have the used bookstore here that currently probably has a couple copies of this scratched to death for about ten ninety five. Really? Yeah. That's terrible. $2. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. $2. <laughs> so the Zonk Man is cheap as that, shit. That's when you buy fucking CDs. Right. Me. I'm just like, <laughs> it's a no brainer. Oh, damn. I should have like tried to like, put these in some kind of order. It's all right. Okay. Here we go. So we went and there was a, I'd say there was kind of a, uh, a guy that had metal CDs. They were. Uh, five dollars each get five get one free so I found a good bit I don't know that this is all of them but anyway I'm trying to remember the name. okay yeah this is on there too okay so right off the get bong ripper oh nice the great barrier reef er <laughs> yeah I love bong ripper holy shit dude that is the 2006 debut another Chicago band I believe oh, okay yeah um but it I'm sure this was inspired by the dope smoker by sleep sure because it is literally one track an hour and 19 yeah, minutes I, I love those guys and it's all <laughs> instrumental right yes yeah. yes 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 okay so I'll try to speed up a little Oh, Red Fang action, Murder the Mountain. This is the one we played on vinyl last week here, actually. Yeah. Played this on vinyl last week on the program. No, it was Sunday. It was Sunday. Oh. Uh, Lord Teeskill, Mr. Bill was in here and I uh, wanted to do some Red Fang and I pulled some of that out. That's what it was, it was Sunday. Um, we'll do a two for here. Sure. I was stoked to find some earth. Oh, nice. Man, and you'd have to find out what those two albums are. That name, I don't even know what the Is this Hex and the Infernal Printing? Yes. This is a, I have this on vinyl, actually. I, okay. Actually, I bought this sealed. No, there's another one I bought. I bought Jonathan's actual copy, of, like his personal copy of this. I uh, paid a little bit for it. Not crazy. That's and, the... And uh, this is... Um, oh, it's... Uh, Pint, Angels of Darkness. Oh, Angels of Darkness, yeah. And... Uh, whatever the bad side is, Angel, whatever. Yeah. Part Hell two... Yeah. Which is like, and these are all well. still reasonably priced. Okay, right, this is the five dollar stuff. <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, uh, five dollars each, and then buy five get one free. Okay. So, and then a couple more. Let's see, some Mastodon, a couple of Mastodon Thank albums. You, yeah. Once more around the sun. Probably my favorite Mastodon. Really? Okay, yeah. awesome. That's actually an EP, Cold Dark Place. I don't have that. Still right. killer. Still killer stuff. And I was stoked, stoked to find a copy of this too. Some COC, mm. more of the hardcore stuff from yeah, that's early days. '85 Animosity. Wow, that's fantastic. So that that was that guy. There was another guy that had a couple of metal things here. Um, Danzig, 
Okay. I Lucifery or whatever you have uh -huh. to pronounce that. I actually got that on. Is this where it got recently. kind of industrial? Or no, the industrial was the black ass. Oh, this is Luth oh, Lucifer. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is seven seven seven. Okay. So two thousand three. That would have been the next. When did he do the? I don't know. Anyway, black ass the devil was after four. Yeah, that one. The, it was, was technically number five. Yeah. That was the old industrial. That's record. when I kind of jumped ship. This is when he said this would be the last conception because he claimed like all the numbered ones. He wasn't going to do any more numbered ones after this. 777. But anyway. So they had that. And dude, four bucks for anything. Fuck yeah. And I thought this was killer too. Not really ever seen this. Best of Grim Reaper. Oh, wow. On Kick CD. Ass. It says like some kind of promo. Did you own any uh, Grim Reaper previous? Um, just the... You just bought one. Just bought one. So, so yeah, I've been getting into some Grim Reaper recently. Hell yeah. Fantastic band. And then where it... This was like uh, another another place that had CDs. These guys even said they thought the vinyl was going to be more uh, uh, competitive. Mm. So they thought to bring more CDs. So I don't know if it's there's... Uh, is a metal theologian out there because uh, I guess I'm a juggalo. You know, my CP. <laughs> oh my Dude, lord. Dude, this was sealed the great Malenko for two bucks. <laughs> wow. I know. Look at that shiny, so... <laughs> shiny. I do know some people in the VC that were, uh, that were, uh, that were juggalos back in the day. I'm not going to throw out any names. So, I yeah, do, man. I do know some people that were. Low key. I'm not throwing names. I'm not I'm not tossing darts tonight. We're just gonna let it rest. I guess it's not a refer you would say if it was Jay. Oh, I would tell you if it was Jay. <laughs> we played with them on like the uh some of their side projects. What Twisted? Twisted, yeah. We I think we played with we played with them at the uh, Millennium Center Underground. We were oh, talking about okay. that earlier, wow. actually, yeah. Wow, yeah. And they also did some wrestling too. Yeah, they were big into wrestling. <laughs> there, um, there's a there's a PS2 backyard wrestling game where they're playable characters. Oh, really? Yeah, the, like there's two different. I think at least two guys from Insane Clown Posse are like, because uh, one's something J Shaggy, two dope J something. Yeah, but you there are playable not, characters in the game. You can wrestle. Juggler. You can you can wrestle with them, uh, which is fucking hilarious. But that's it. Hell yeah. Yeah, fetch me my box. Thank you. Yes. So I came home yesterday to a, a glorious looking box on my porch. And you know with this premier packaging here. For Jilly. A little sticker action. Another for Jilly. <laughs> Covering up the things, but it's uh Mikey Bananas, care of Rosin Box Productions, and that can mean the one, the only, Nebulous Prowler. NP, oh damn. So, it's gonna be wicked, man. You just know it. Oh, I should do the, uh, hold on, yeah. see how quick I can find it. I'll let you say it. Um, I'll redub it. Oh. I like to try to find the graphic. It's tough to find. Now it's making me mad. I found it. A VCLT graphic. Choo choo. Violent J. His name was Violent J. Violent J. That's right. I yeah. thought you were going to do some number one razor shop, no, no, Mikey no. Bananas. Some old, some old, uh, some VCLT graphic. That's an old school graphic. So, of course. See we got. Don't get too excited now. Whoa! I need a little shave, I guess. <laughs> the trick is to it's for the tape. You want to pull the knife towards you. Yes. Um, and if you can make it a little erratic, if you can pull it erratically towards you, that's even better. If it flies yes. off the tip, that's okay. That's the sharpest part of the knife, actually. Put your fingers close to it. That's the sharpest part. It's what you want. <laughs> um, all right, let's see what we got here. Dun, 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 dun. 
Wow, right off the rip. Holy shit balls. Uh oh, what is that? Uh oh. The town. Wow, 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 wow. I gotta get serious. I see this laying on the top. <laughs> Nice little Ziploc bag. That's the, the you were gonna say. Wow, and in in sleeves as well. No Pro way. Professional, dude. Professional cars. <gasps> yeah, the GP. Not the GPK. only that. I'm gonna check the one on the out. top. Spiky Mikey. <laughs> Are you into that kind of stuff? You got like a bed of nails around the corner? Oh my god. Flatten J. <laughs> Where do you find this? <laughs> That's before or after the curb. <laughs> and stitched Steve. Holy <laughs> shit. This motherfucker. GB. We're not done. We're not oh, done. Shit. Dude. Coiled Carl. <laughs> I think he had an envelope in there. I too. had this one actually. I remember. <laughs> Dry and Ryan. Wow. That's cameraman for those that don't know. Or Captain Carburetor in the chat. <laughs> Wow, dude. That is a big fucking wow. That's awesome. That That is a big fucking wow. The what do I do with that bag? Kids. Put it back in here. Bag. Yeah, let me put it back yeah. in this bag. Or I fuck them up. Dude, that is absolutely... That's one of the best gifts ever. That is killer. That's fucking up there, brother. Holy shit. All right, let's dig further into that package here. What did he say? <laughs> this guy. This guy. Oh, you can throw. Oh, I didn't know if you wanted to throw oh, that here. Oh wow! I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna blind pull these out here. Wow. Famous Misfits of Filmland. Oh, wow. Killer. Four hits from hell. Holy what shit. are the hits? Sorry, Zonka, I don't know your first name. You're in luck. It's Steve. So yeah, it works I don't out. know. It's, it's all good, man. Shoot. That's Limited to 500 copies. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Now, I don't know when this is from. Plain white sleeve. From the forthcoming album, Lucifer's Penis Rising. Where Eagles Dare, Vampira, Ghoul's Night Out, Skulls. Oh my God. Plan 666. Killer. Wow. That's a big one. I'm gonna put that right there so it doesn't get messed up. It's a boot. That's fucking. Oh shit. Fucking peace of mind. Hell oh yeah. Yeah, son. The maiden. If you're gonna die, die with your boots on. It's funny, it has where eagles dare. <laughs> oh, we got a theme going here? Wow. Hell yes, dude. Hell yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to sit here there, if man? you want. Yeah, yeah, I can. All right. Moving right along. Hadn't looked at it yet. Oh, no way. This was really tall on my list, brother. I talked about this not long ago. Too bad Scotty's not in here. I don't think I saw Scotty earlier. The Dicks. Kill from the Heart. This is a fantastic punk record. One of the first, like, openly gay dudes in the punk scene, and he didn't give a fuck. 
uh, alternative tentacles reissue of this um i'll bow about the seven inch for uh oh what's the song something about killing a cop or not not killing a cop something about a cop oh wow. um not killing a cop. what's it called uh probably on here um oh, i can't remember what it's called cop something anyway this this album is fan fucking tastic. I streamed the shit out of this and almost bought it from uh, Total Punk, I believe it was not long ago. That's awesome. Peace of Mind is one of MT's favorites. Yeah. Dicks. Oh yeah. And oh shit. Motorhead Overkill. Hell yeah. Fucking a dude. I forget what year is that from. Was that like late eighties? 79. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm not... Uh, That's a I'm whole other collection. Off. I don't think I've ever really even listened to this record. I'm going to be honest with you. So that's fucking killer. Holy shit, dude. Again, Prowler just fucking... I mean, what are you going to say? Yeah. What What the fuck can you say? Top shelf. What, what, what can you say, dude? And the... I mean, not only those records, like, are insane but the thoughtfulness the of these fucking cards right is fucking next level <laughs> dude that is some next level shit uh let's take us a quick commercial break you brought a soda uh soda for last right. week we're gonna do that bitch tonight uh chip wise i think we got um we can i'll let you choose you can go we can go we can either go grab happy there's one in the box and they're left from uh, Mr. Wizard and Steve left the bag right there and he ain't here and I'm tired of looking at him so that's fine too. They're fair <laughs> game. I was waiting but they're, but there's they're all... two up there. The green one the green one is definitely we can open that. If you we can grab okay. we can do that one tonight. We can do that. Yeah, one we'll do it. I'll Just... save Wizards for another time. We got yeah. one more in the Wizard box. One more in the Wizard box. All right, um killer. So what we'll do is we'll take us a quick little break. Uh, reconvene, go go take you a whiz, and um, we'll, we'll meet back up here and do a little so to speak and chip chat action momentarily. Thanks everybody for hanging out here on Grown Man Record Night. We'll be right bark. Crazy Eddie's greatest TV. Grown Man Record Night will be back in a minute. Stick around. Hi, how are you? We're in Piper's Pit, and I can't believe it. I'm sitting here with the greatest wrestling manager of all time, Captain Lou Albano. And, uh, Captain, I ain't never had nobody make no phone calls. What you doing, man? Who you talking yeah. to? The president? What you doing? Who I can't yeah, hear you. I'm running with the Worldwide Wrestling Federation Action Hotline. Listening right here, talking about Roddy Piper. Who? Listen, now, 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 now. Wait, They're wait. talking about Captain Lou Albano. They're talking about the Samoans. Wait a second. What's the number? What's the number? Let me call the number. For Players Club International, Mr. Telly Savalas. You know, I love the excitement in Atlantic City and Las Vegas. And okay, I get VIP treatment. Now you too can get VIP treatment and big savings just by carrying the Players Club Gold Card. You too can save 25 to 60% off rooms. 25 to 50% off top name entertainment. Always 25% off food and beverages. And you'll never have to wait in long registration and show lines again. The Players Club Gold Card, the way to go for incredible savings at some of the finest casino resorts in the world. In Atlantic City, use your Players Club Gold Card at Harris Marina, Resorts International, Trump Plaza, the Sands. In Vegas, use it at the Riviera, Frontier, Sahara, Sands, the Mint, plus many other hotels in Reno, Tahoe, the Caribbean, around the world. Oh, yeah. Use your Players Club Card to dine in one hotel, see a show in another, and spend the night in another. Hey, no strings attached to get the club's benefits. You may save more than the cost of your membership. The 
very first time you use your Players Club Gold Card. After that, it's bonus time, baby. You listen to Telly? Call Players Club today. Call me now. I'll send you all the information you need about Players Club. And if you join now, you'll receive this handsome travel wallet absolutely free. Call 1-800-532-9900 now. That's 1-800-532-9900. Crazy Eddie's greatest TV and video sale ever. Get a video recorder, color TV, large screen TV, video camera, even an audio video component system. Get it all on sale now during Crazy Eddie's greatest TV and video sale ever. Remember, we are not undersold. We will not be undersold. We cannot be undersold. And we mean it. So get anything and everything in TV and video. Get it now during Crazy Eddie's greatest TV and video sale ever. Crazy Eddie, his prices are insane. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for staying with us here on Grown Man Record Night. Getting into the, the home stretch here, folks, where we can see the finish line right in front of us. All we got to do is bear down, get through this wonderful, so to speak, and chip chat coming right at you this evening. Oof. Can't wait to talk about it. So you brought a little soda, uh, so to speak, action. So oh, yeah. let's let, let's bring in that intro real quick. Yeah, you can see uh, Corky. What do you want, Corky? <laughs> what can I help you with, brother? You down some, on your luck? You need a bite to eat? Yeah, or some records to scratch. He's looking for some records to scratch. <laughs> it's a it's a little disheartening. Uh, so yeah, you brought a soda for uh, so to speak. What, what do we have here? What do you know about it? It is a poppy. Poppy. In case you it's, saw the commercial on the Super Bowl. A lot of people have been talking about the poppy sodas. Uh, here's what it says. Yeah, show oh, it says soda's back. Sweet, but with an edge. Are you? Are we describing you or the soda in your hand? That's one secret we'll never tell. XOXO. What the fuck? Juicier than a tabloid with a five gram sugar clean ingredient and prebiotics. That's not just gossip. It's the truth. Some creative writing there on the back. Um, so it's, uh, let's show this off here, the poppy. This is a cherry limeade. Cherry limeade. Poppy. So it's it, time to love soda again. It's five grams of sugar. That's my problem. I've um, never stopped loving soda. No fake stuff. <laughs> Prebiotics. Infused with apple cider vinegar. That's good for you, too. Only 25 calories. Sure. And it's not a diet. Sure. Porky. Corky. Once you pop, you can't stop. Getting real close to that record, bud. Are we gonna square it up? Hey, 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 hey. We gonna square it up, bud? We gonna come to a tussle? Hey, bud? Let's try this out. Cans. Poppy. Corky's overweight. There comes Fuzzy. <laughs> That's Fuzzy Oh, they're coming right in. There. Hey, what's come going on? on? I am Poppy. If you know, you know. I am Poppy. Okay, let's hold that phone. That is a really good soda. I am thoroughly impressed by this. That cherry limeade, it's tart. That's not my go-to flavor for stuff. Mm -hmm. Pour this over some crushed ice. You got your little, little slushy action going. That would not be bad at all. A mixer, this would be a fantastic mixer, especially if you, you know, you don't want to put a bunch of sugar in there for no reason. It's very good. It's cl it's clean tasting. Crisp. Clean crisp. crisp. And clean. Yes. Like uh it's got it's got lots of flavor going on. So it's not like a it's not like a LaCroix or some shit. It's got like some actual flavor stuff going on here. And pretty heavy on the flavor, I would say. Right. Um, and you said sour, it's not like like pucker, no, bad no, or anything no. Like it's that. uh, it's just got a, it's tart. It's tart, got a, yeah, got a little tart, tart, tart to it. Um, yeah. 
Corky's wanting to talk to Kojak. Yeah, that's that's the that's the vibe I'm getting, Merle. <laughs> I feel like one of the two of, somebody owes somebody some money, and this shit's about to fucking go down. <laughs> what's what's fucked up is the other cat is right out the, right out of the shot. It's a but good it, old fashioned Mexican standoff. <laughs> is what we got here, and I'm here for it. I got I bought that front row ticket. Boom. Your ticket's for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. Oh yeah, classic. <laughs> classic. Poppies were invented in Canada, is that right? These are really good. Man. I don't see a maple leaf on here. Is this a... Uh, this is Austin, Texas. Hmm. Is this a... Uh, is it a pricey soda? I would imagine it's a little bit on the pricey side. Yes, and I probably the store that it was but purchased wasn't the sure. cheapest either. So it is, it is a premium soda, so it's not like yeah. going to get a six or a Pepsi. Dude, it's, so, they come in four packs, so it's like buying energy drinks. Oh, okay. It's okay. that bad. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes as I've, you know, I, I, one, I'm a cheap motherfucker, but one thing I will do is I will spend a little extra for health stuff. If it's going to be, a, you know, fresh vegetables... You know, like good vegetables, good cuts of meat, stuff like that. I'll spend a little extra money on it. Right, it's better for you. Also buy the, you know, ground beef that's going to go out tomorrow and, you know, freeze it. Yeah. Also do that. But, you know, when I'm when I'm going to have a steak, it ain't going to be fucking sirloin. Let me put it that way. <laughs> I don't eat sirloin. If I'm going to eat sirloin, I'm going to have a fucking hamburger. Because I love a hamburger. Hamburger's not too far behind steak, but it's enough to where when I buy... If I buy a steak, it's going to be a ribeye. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you don't... Uh, I don't know. Did you say... Did you use the word, like, a seltzer water in there, mix in there? No. Well, you mean for a mixer? Or oh, right. I know you said a mixer, but... I it said kind it kind of felt like a flavored it, seltzer water. It doesn't feel like a flavored seltzer water. Oh, okay. Like, because, uh, like, you know, a lot of that stuff is, is very, it's clean and crisp, but it's devoid of flavor. Right. Which I like. I mean, I buy club soda. Right. And I, I not only use club soda for mixers and shit, but I just drink straight up club soda. I love it. That's, yeah. my, fa that's my favorite drink. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm boring. I'm I like that. black coffee, unsweetened tea, and club soda. What? You ain't from around here. You said no. unsweet tea. I, I grew to love it. <laughs> I mean, I grew up drinking tons of sweet tea, but it's up while I was also fucking nine hundred pounds. Right, where they had two pounds of sugar they put. In My mom's tea, tea was fucking sweet, dude. <laughs> My mom's tea was fucking awesome, but also you could pour that shit on fucking pancakes. Right. <laughs> and I loved every bit of it. Right. But and I would. I never thought twice about, and this could be said for like Pepsi or like a, a glass of sweet tea, just wake up in the middle of the night and just fucking house a bunch of sweet tea because you had pizza that earlier and you're thirsty, you know, you wake up in the middle of the night. Yeah, with the dry I'd, mouth. I'd, I'd kill a 16 ounce Pepsi standing there. I never once thought like, hey, this caffeine could keep me up. You never thought about Pepsi having caffeine when I was a kid. Did y'all, did you think about caffeine? No, no, you just drank soda like it was water. I did hang out with this crazy, uh, he wasn't religious, but his his, uh, his mom was crazy religious and wouldn't let him have any caffeine. He wasn't Mormon, because Mormons do that. Mormons don't do caffeine. Oh. Because um, I... Uh, Is it because it's a drug? I don't know, it's... Yeah, what's well, funny, but like... Um, there's also something called Mormon tea, which it's like traditionally made. What it uses is ephedra. Which is, trust me, speed. Right. <laughs> I, ephedra is what was in a lot of dietary supplements yeah, yeah, in the yeah. 90s. And I took this stuff called Rip Fuel. And I took a lot of it. And I lost a bunch of weight. And fucking, I was taking Rip Fuel and Androstenone at the same time. Both of which are now fucking illegal. One for being speed, one for being steroids. And uh, <laughs> so I was a fucking mess. <laughs> I was skinny and in shape and a fucking mess. Aggressive. Yeah, it was it was crazy. But uh yeah, but I always thought that was funny because I knew I had some friends that were Mormon and um they would always drink they always had like Sprite, ginger ale, root beer. Those were the sodas in their fridge. No Pepsis, no Pepsis, no Mountain Dews, shit like that. It was all this caffeine free stuff. 
But uh, yeah, that uh, Mormon. T what's funny is like, oh no, we're not. We're not drinking caffeine. It's not caffeine. It's like no, it's ephedra, which is you know, <laughs> might as well be fucking jacking methamphetamine at certain points. <laughs> but uh, sure. or just straight snorting a line. Like I said earlier, with the you know, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Let's go to a chip chat intro, please. Excesso calior calor calorious. Excesso. Excesso. There's a lot of stuff on the chip, is what you're saying. Uh, oh, thick. Pompous. Um, look at that. Es delicioso. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sting City. Yo, Scotty. Scotty, what's up? Dude, where, hand me that one of those records I just handed you. The blue one. The one behind that one. I don't know how long you've been here, Scotty. Look what look what Prowler just sent. Among some other great stuff. Because we're a bunch of dicks. <laughs> see what he says in the chat. Um, all right, so a little uh, chip chat action. So, Fever brought these chips over, um, um, month and a half ago. I, it may, yeah, it was, <laughs> it may have been like Super Bowl. It may have actually oh. been Super Bowl and was like, we can eat them tonight or like, you can do them show or like, whatever, you know, and like, but I kept kind of waiting because usually if somebody brings chips, I don't typically do them when they're not here. But Fever's become a little more infrequent guest. So, I, you know, at some point, like tonight, it's like, sure, let's, Let's eat these fucking chips. Um, and he told the story, I guess, Doritos uh, Dinamitas had, uh, they did a rebrand or something. And we mentioned right. that a couple of, uh, I'm pretty sure I remember Steve saying that. Um, this yeah, right here. This is missing. Sure. <laughs> so this is, they're, they're heavily branded Doritos this time around. Doritos Dinamitas. Before, they kind of buried the Dorito connection here. And if you look at the heat scale here, the Dinameter. Okay. All right. This is in the medium side of things. Uh, yo, E-Dub. What's say there, baby? The Crunchy sticks. Bed, uh... Exploding zesty lime flavor and a spicy sour kick. Mm. Spicy oh, sour yeah. kick. Yeah. Which I have grown to not be a super big fucking fan of. Um, a lot of these uh, Takis and oh, Dinamitas yeah. and stuff, they're hot as fuck anyway, but the, I um, can't that, but the yeah. excess citrus, stuff. Oh. and it's not lime, it's fake citrus. It's, oh. it's citric acid is what it is. It's cit citric acid salt. So you take, I don't want to get into a whole chemistry thing here, but it's, uh, right. no, it's, I know a, it, it's a citric acid salt. The one. Hey, the, these are lime and this is limeade. Yeah, that's right. Nope, triple B. Hmm. Wow. Now it's been a while for me for, well actually we probably Whoa. did some. You can smell the... Oh yeah, these are like the Andy Cap fries. Yeah. That's what Steve was saying, they're no longer a tube that I can slurp soup through, which I like to do. <laughs> um, there's a video. Wait a minute. Yeah. Let's hold that phone. We'll keep going. Okay, what's, okay. What's your thoughts on that? It's, uh, man, I cannot, the flavor, like you said, the uh, citrus, zesty lime, a spicy sour kick. Um, yeah, I feel there's like, something else in there, too, though. I feel again, like like a paprika. There is too much citrus for me. I like the texture because before they were really fucking crunchy. They were like bust your tooth out kind of crunchy, right there, right. like a kettle almost. But they were a, a, like a tube, a hollow tube, like a straw. These are more of an Andy Cap hot fry consistency. And I like the heat level of these. The heat is perfect. Right. I think it's 
it's 20, 20 to 30 percent too much citrus for my liking. That's just my two cents. I dig the citrus. I still feel like there's like paprika or something on there. Sure. Corky, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, you're, making oh, oh. Me you're making me nervous, bud. <laughs> See, Corky, the black and white fat fuck down there is the one that uh, tears up all the records. None of the other cats do that. All of this damage down here was all him. It's all Corky. <laughs> mm. He used to like beeline in here, walk through the door and just be like, oh, fuck, records. All right, sweet. Ah, da, da. He wouldn't look around the room. He wouldn't smell nothing. He would just march over and start clawing like hell. Yeah, yeah, me and Corky have had some conversations about that. He's a little, yeah, he's not, uh, didn't go make a straight beeline for it. No, we we have kind of an understanding, but I still don't trust the motherfucker. He's the kind of motherfucker you just don't trust all the way. Right, That's so you're done with that. these. For right now, those are good. They get, a, they get a kind of, well, not like the Takis where it gets hotter Yeah, the more you eat. Yeah, the Takis are too much. It's too much everything. Right. It's like excess of excess. Excesso. Takis are excesso. Too much heat, too much citrus, too much everything. These are a, a much better version of that type of snack. I'll say that. I think that's fair yeah. to say. That's fair to say. Fuzzy will eat any crunchy snack like that. Fuzzy will eat like hell. That's probably too, really? She probably shouldn't eat something spicy like that. But Fuzzy sits up beside me and eats... Uh, Pork rinds. She loves pork rinds. That's <laughs> that's the cat screen right down there on the bottom, the browner one. Mm -mm, Corky, mm -mm. that's making me nervous, bud. We'll try to. I'm gonna get too aggressive, but I will let him know. Yeah. yeah, he needs to back up a little bit. All right, folks, had a fantastic show tonight. What I want to do is go back over to Twitch, listen to a couple of these uh, record albums that Mr. Prowler was kind enough to send over. Again, thank you so much for that. Uh, much too kind. Far too kind, dude. Uh, but I really do appreciate it, and we're going to spin these with fucking love and understanding. Um, but yeah, come over to Twitch. Let's catch some record albums, and if you don't, whatever and uh we'll catch you on the next one hopefully have a good rest of your weekend and uh go wolf pack yeah sorry i'm not gonna do that jay's is not here now just notice jay's gone jesus jay's <laughs> that motherfucker come back over to twitch folks we'll meet you over there have a good one bye